Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x and y in this system of equation? Yeah, let this be equation one, and this be equation two. From equation one, which is x plus y equals to two. Yeah, let's take x to this side. Then we have y equals to two minus x. That is yeah. We call this equation 3. Then from what we have in equation 2, which is x times y equals to 11. We can substitute equation 3 here. And y will be replaced as 2 minus x. Then we have x into bracket 2 minus x. Close brackets. Then equals to 11 from here. And here, x open this bracket, and this gives us 2x minus x square, then equals to 11 from here. Then on this side, we rearrange and take 11 to this side as well. So this becomes minus x square plus 2x, then minus 11 equals to 0 from here. Then to remove this minus, let's multiply through by minus 1. Then here this becomes x square. Then this becomes minus 2x. And this becomes plus 11, which is equal to 0 from here. And this gives us a quadratic equation where a is 1, b equals minus 2. Then C equals 11. From the formula, we have X equals to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC, then over 2A. Now, when we substitute, this becomes X equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 11 then over 2 times 1 that is from here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus that's plus 2 then plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared that's plus 4 then minus here we have 4 times 11, which is 44. We can still put it as 4 times 11. Then over 2 from here. And from what we have here, we can factor 4 out from this bracket. And this will give us x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4. Then into bracket here, we have 1, then minus 11 here. Then over 2. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you. Now, here we have x now equals to 2 plus or minus root 4, then times here 1 minus 11, that's minus 10, which implies that we can put this is divided by 2. Also, we can separate this and this gives us x equals to 2 plus or minus root 4 times root 10, then times root minus 1, then over 2 from here. And which is x equals to 2 plus or minus root 4, that's 2. Then we have root 10. Then root minus 1 here, we have i, which is over 2 from here. That is, here, 2 is common, and we have x equals to 2 into bracket. Here we have 1 plus or minus root 10 i from here, then over 2. And these two cancel each other. Then here x equals to 1 plus or minus root 10i.
So we have two values of x from here. And we can separate this. And we have x1 equals to 1 plus root 10i. Then we have x2 equals to 1 minus root 10i. That is to get the value of y from the equation 3, which is y equals to 2 minus x. That is on this side, y1 will then be equals to 2 minus x1, which is 1 plus root 10 i from here. And here, minus here, open this bracket, then y1 will then give us 2 minus 1 minus root 10 high which implies from here we have y1 then equals to 2 minus 1 that's 1 then minus root 10 i so the first set of solutions here which is x1 comma y1 is now equals to x1 that's 1 plus root 10 high then comma y1 that's 1 minus root 10 i now we close bracket here. Then on the other side as well, we find the value of y, which is y2. So we have y2 here equals to using the same relation, which is 2 minus x. So we have 2 minus x2, that's 1 minus root 10 i. Then minus also open this bracket. So we have y2 now equals to 2 minus 1, then plus root 10 i. And from here, y2 now equals to 1 plus root 10 i. So here we have also the second set of solution, which we write as x2 comma y2. Now equals to x2 we have 1 minus root 10 i. Then comma y2 we have 1 plus root 10 high then the value of x here is same as the value of y here also the value of y is same as the value of x here and we can check to confirm if the solution we have satisfies the given problem from what we have let's substitute the solution in the equation for the first solution which is x1 comma y1 which is equals to 1 plus root 10 high, then comma 1 minus root 10 i here. From equation 1, which is x plus y equals to 2, then here this becomes 1 plus root 10 high, then plus 1 minus root 10 high, is this equals to 2 from here? And here we have plus root 10 here minus root 10 i. This cancel out. Then we have 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then equals to 2. Now, left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then it satisfies the first equation there. And also from the second equation, which is x times y equals to 11. Then let's multiply. Now we have 1 plus root 10 high multiplied by 1 minus root 10 high. Here is this equals to 11. That is following perfect square a plus b times a minus b. This is the same thing as a square minus b square. That is here, 1 starting as a, that's 1 square, then minus root 10 high, standing as b, so root 10 i square. Is this same thing as 11? Then from here, 1 square is still 1, then minus here. We square root 10, that's root 10 square. Then i square is equal to 11. And from here, this is 1 minus this cancel out, that's 10. Then multiply by high square, that's minus 1. 
is it equals to 11 then here minus times minus plus so we have 1 plus 10 here is it equals to 11 of course this is 11 which is equals to 11 also the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence this satisfy the two equations which also the second set of solution will also satisfy since it's just you know the same thing and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and follow us god bless you see you and next class and bye for now